All right, so we're going to show you how to delete bulk posts uh, on Facebook. Uh, sort of a frustration that I ran into a couple weeks ago and had to just sort of figure it out, and I felt it would be good to share it with you guys. And so one of the things you want to do, or you might have noticed, is if you go to Facebook, which is your meta business suite, and you can easily pull up your posts that you've made from the past. And what's happened here is that we are just, uh, for example, changing wanting to delete posts that have been on this page for a very long time. And so what you can notice here is even if I have these four, I can't click them all. I have to do all this, all this before I'm able to delete it. Right. And in some instances, going to the past, I might not even be able to pull up posts that might have been on my page. And I think it does on the Meta Business Suite and not in the Creator Studio, but let's check it out real quick. And so I know we've had posts from, let's say, January 2020 uh, update, and let's see if it pulls it up. And there you have it, as you can see, um, it has all these posts here. But my frustration, um, that I have run into is how then do I delete all these posts? And because I want to delete it, reappropriate the page or just the posts are old and stuff. And a good way that I noticed you could do it is by going here, 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 as you could see. And so we could click all these over here. And once you do that, you can go over here and delete posts. So five posts will be permanently deleted. Now, another thing that you might have noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, another thing you might have noticed is the fact that when you have to do all this manually, it might take some time. But what is quite surprising and show me if I'm missing it here is that there is nowhere all around here to bulk select stuff to delete it. You simply have to click each one. And if you have thousands or several posts, that becomes a frustration. So you can still pull it up under uh, the, the business suite. But to delete it, it's, again, simple. You just have to click one by one by one by one. And if you have all the time in the day, you can absolutely do that. Now, um, <clears throat> so let's see, delete, delete posts. Yep. delete okay and so as you can see now <clears throat> now we are going to try it another way that I found out again this is through the meta business suite the other way we're gonna try is actually through the creator studio Facebook creator studio and <clears throat> excuse me what I've also noticed about the, the the Facebook creator studio is that it has its own sort of like tweaks too um, but the good thing is you can go in there and search for old posts and delete them by the bulk too. Now, this is what might get you. This is what might get you. Now, notice we went to January 1, 2020, January 31. So I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go to the last seven days. Let's see if it pulls up stuff. Wow, this is awesome. So as you can see, it pulls up stuff over here. And these are the posts that are recent. These are the posts that were just made not too long ago. Now, if we want to go back to January 2020, which we were in, so we'll make it as quick as we can. And in January 2020, you click that. Uh, let's update it and see what shows. You can see nothing pops up. This was where a whole lot of the frustration was. Nothing pops up. But when you go into the Meta Business Suite, you could see that on January 8th, still... We still have tons of posts from that month. And unfortunately, we can't bulk select them here. Then how do we do it? This could be very, very frustrating. Well, a good thing to do is to go to your creator studio and search for those posts uh, by the date. As you can see, you can filter them out. ID, descriptions, and all that stuff, your posts, all that, invited posts. But I've noticed it still doesn't pull up. Well, here is the good news that sort of works. The good thing will be to go now to your meta business suite and look at what is so common in all these things. So for here, we could see natural news, natural news, natural news, natural news. Okay. So, and over here, it says nothing. Well, guess what? Let's type in natural here and see if anything shows up. 
there it is. That's how they all show up. Now, remember we had to go in here and there's just nowhere that I see here where we could bulk select. Again, please put it in the comments if I'm missing something because this really drove me crazy. I just couldn't find it. But under Creator Studio, you can bulk select right there. See, and what I've noticed is once you bulk select, it picks 25, right? And all you have to do is scroll down more. Let's scroll down more here. Uh, scroll down more. Okay. So we see 25 there. Let's re-click that again. So you can see it's now 34. And so the more you scroll down, <clears throat> the more you cover your uh, chances. So we have 34 here, and now we could delete. As you can see, you got to go to the arrow there and delete it. So this is totally um, different um, because in the sense that you, the, you, this could really drive you crazy when you just don't know what you are searching for uh, or how to search for what you want to delete or how to pull it up. And so natural is one. Now we could also look for other words. I think feed was in there. So let's see. Yep. Database error. So again, you just go over here. 25, it selects it. Scroll down more. See if we can select more. And the more you select, the more you can delete. And so go over here and reselect. Let's see how many it's got over here. 30. Now it's got 30. So that covers it. 30 in total. And then automatically delete. And so let's go now to here and um, look at our posts again. Um, and see what's left there on January 2020. Um, stories. Let's just go back to give it a refresh there. Last 90 days. I guess we got to go back again just to look at our January 2020. And to double check what has been deleted. As you can see, January 2020 now is clear. So that would be the way to go about it if you are running through some issues in being able to delete all your past bulk posts. The good thing is to go to Creator Studio while it's still, while it's still functioning um, and still working and to go to all your published posts. And after that, to pretty much pick your date and search for, again, search for anything that you have seen on that page because it just looks like it just won't show up and so here it is again feed um, you go here and you can scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down you don't even have to select it at first you could keep scrolling down scrolling down as much as you can just to gain as many as possible um, which is a huge difference from just doing it here bit by bit that could just get a little frustrating when all you have to do is pick it one by one here, here, here to delete it when all you could do is go in here and keep scrolling down to gather a whole bunch of them. So we'll keep scrolling here. Let's see. We have it up to 1224. Now you can see we used to post a lot on this page. And so I'll keep scrolling down just to gather a little bit more um because it's picking it from the back so now let's see how many we have here when we select let's see what it gives us 225 now what i've also noticed um is that you can uh at times when it's a lot it does take a little while for it to pop up like that and so we delete all those posts and when you delete it uh, the remaining based on the parameters that you search the remaining posts based on the parameters that you search should still pop up but if it doesn't just go through the whole process again and then you'll be able to pull up those posts as you can see it's taken a little bit more time for it to make that deletion and as you can see now we are at 1219 and it's automatically just selected the next 25 which if you keep scrolling down again as you can see it keeps growing now that's 40 and this is where we're looking at it 65 because these are just the remainder posts based on the parameters that we've searched so we see 
90, keep scrolling, and now we might just want to delete the whole month. What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea. So we don't have to waste more time like how we would be doing over here. So let's just keep scrolling, and we're at 1210. Uh, we're shooting for 121 since we want to delete all the posts of the month. And again, this is a, just a nice, easy way to go around all manually or, you know, singularly picking a post to delete it. Okay, here we go. I just want to make sure we can get the whole month so you can actually see how it works with a lot of a lot, with, with the bulk posts. So that's 1206. I think it goes all the way to 121. And uh, this is how we like to help you guys. Once we run into some frustrations and figure it out, we would just post the video so that you don't have to go through those frustrations. Um, because that's what we're here for, to make life easier with technology. So delete 225. We're still selecting here. Is it selecting anymore? Let's see. I think it's done with the 225, so we could delete that. It's not picking any more on its own. And that's it. So that's how you can delete bulk posts on Facebook uh, using the Creator Studio as opposed to using Meta Business Suite. I hope this was helpful. If this has frustrated you, please let us know in the comments how it's because it's been frustrating to me myself. And uh, if this has been of good help for you, uh, let us know in the comments and also subscribe to uh, be able to see a whole lot more things uh, that we could help you with with uh, uh, technology and social media outlets. Hope this was helpful. Take care.